People often say behind every great man is a great woman, and that's true in the case of SpaceX. Elon Musk may be the most mentioned face every time SpaceX breaks a new record or takes a leap forward on its journey, but he has a secret weapon to create those miracles. Yes, it's Gwen Shotwell, the president and chief operating officer of SpaceX. She is exactly the person behind the creation of SpaceX's reputation and has driven the company's remarkable growth with projects like Falcon, Starlink, and most notably Starship. So in today's episode of Alpha Tech, let's explore everything Gwen Shotwell has been doing with the upcoming launch of Starship. This has even shocked NASA. If you haven't seen Gwen Shotwell, then you haven't been paying attention. Gwen Shotwell is the voice of reason at SpaceX. As president and COO, she manages the day-to-day -day operations of the company. She manages the fulfillment today of the direction the company's going tomorrow. She's in charge of making sure that things like contracts actually get met, and that when a satellite's supposed to launch, there's a functional rocket sitting under it with all the range support, tracking, and support ships standing by. This is the kind of work that takes a firm and practiced hand in any company, and she does a great job at it. Gwen Shotwell's reputation has spread widely in the commercial space industry. No company or space organization hasn't heard her name when it comes to SpaceX or Elon Musk. She has even gained the trust of almost all of them, most notably NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. In an interview with NPR in May, the NASA director openly expressed his trust in Gwen Shotwell. Elon Musk, one of the most important decisions he made, as a matter of fact, is he picked a president named Gwen Shotwell. She runs SpaceX. She's excellent. And so I have no concerns. This also makes us somewhat less anxious about the upcoming fourth launch of Starship. As COO, Shotwell has overseen operations at Starbase and the Starship program to some extent. Her daily responsibilities may primarily focus on SpaceX's Dragon, Falcon, and Starlink programs, but a COO of her caliber cannot ignore a program that potentially represents half or more of SpaceX's R&D spending. Her job always ensures that all projects at Starbase are on track to support the Starship program. This includes repairs, fine-tuning the orbital launch mount, transporting and planning tests for Starship and Super Heavy, or ongoing constructions like Launch Tower 2 and Star Factory. Shotwell holds it all in the palm of her hand. Furthermore, Shotwell is a staunch supporter and executor of Elon's ambitious goals. Not only has the Falcon rocket made history, but she and Musk also aim to make the Starship the most unique asset possible. Starship is designed to be a reusable model, an unprecedented feat in the aerospace industry. This revolutionary rocket embodies cost optimization principles, using inexpensive materials like stainless steel and methane-powered engines. These design choices not only reduce production costs, but also position Starship as a formidable competitor against other aerospace organizations. By pioneering innovative solutions and challenging conventional norms, Shotwell and Elon have propelled SpaceX to the forefront of space exploration. Gwen Shotwell's exceptional negotiation skills are instrumental in SpaceX's success, particularly in navigating the complexities of legal processes. Her adept diplomacy has facilitated effective collaboration with agencies like NASA, the FAA, the FCC, and others, benefiting Starship's launch operations. Of course, Shotwell plays a crucial role in securing the necessary launch permits from the FAA, a challenging task. Despite skepticism after each test flight loss, the decreasing time to obtain launch permits demonstrates SpaceX's ability to overcome regulatory hurdles and execute ambitious missions. Although Shotwell's contributions do not always capture the public's attention, her behind-the-scenes impact is undeniable. Currently, I have no doubt that Shotwell's diligently working to expedite approval for Flight 4. With her track record and credibility, it's reasonable to expect FAA approval within the targeted time frame, potentially by early June. This is something to look forward to, but that's not all this woman's done. During more than 20 years of work, every step of the way, Shotwell's financial strategy for SpaceX has shined brightly. Perhaps with the rapid development of Starship being clearly demonstrated through all three of its orbital test flights, most people believe this is based on technical advancements. But honestly, the development and technical lessons are not enough because SpaceX has not generated any substantial profits. So, without fundamental financial foundations, they would be limited in installing and testing new upgrades on Starship and its ground systems, such as the hot stand, new designs on some parts of the Raptor, or the floodwater system. It can be said that rockets are a game for the rich. Starting in 2012, Musk estimated that the Starship program would cost between $5 and $10 billion to develop. Just this year alone, SpaceX has planned to inject about $2 billion into the rocket system. You should remember or perhaps not forget that SpaceX lost $968 million in 2021 and $559 million in 2022. The company made a very small profit of $55 million in first quarter last year. 
There's no doubt that Starship has created a significant hole in the company's budget. Of course, even as the richest man in the world, Mr. Musk cannot single-handedly cover the expensive bills of Starship. So as president and top salesperson, what has Gwen Shotwell done to keep SpaceX surviving and thriving for over 20 years? To answer the question, let's explore how SpaceX generates revenue. You see, a private commercial company cannot eliminate business operations. SpaceX's main technology is rockets, and Gwyn is building profitable business operations around this technology to support long-term projects. In the business field, this is referred to as leveraging residual capabilities. A few excellent examples of residual capabilities could be game-changers for SpaceX. The first is the business surrounding Starlink, their satellite internet network. Elon Musk likely never thought of providing internet services from space until he founded SpaceX. The internet's great, but it has nothing to do with Mars. That was true until Gwyn devised SpaceX's financial plan. By creating and launching its own satellites, SpaceX could establish a sustainable business on Earth while building the necessary technology for Mars. Currently, as of early 2023, among all active satellites, about 46 to 51 percent are Starlink, and this proportion is increasing. These have generated massive revenue streams. According to Elon's post on X, SpaceX's Starlink satellite connectivity unit is now breaking even. According to anonymous sources familiar with the matter, Starlink sales are expected to surpass the launch business next year. Next year, Starlink will account for more than $10 billion in total revenue, constituting the majority of SpaceX's revenue. An auction bid at SpaceX earlier this year valued the company at around $150 billion. Leaked reports show Starlink achieved $1.4 billion in revenue for 2022, up from $222 million the previous year. Previously, Musk predicted that Starlink would generate $12 billion in revenue and $7 billion in operating profit by 2022, thanks to 20 million subscribers. Besides direct consumer sales, Starlink has signed deals with dozens of corporate consumers as well as wholesale agreements with telecom companies and agents. The company has agreements with maritime and aviation customers and has formed direct deals with global telecom companies. Secondly, SpaceX makes money from rocket launch services through commercial contracts with national organizations like NASA, private companies, and individuals. An interesting fact is that when Shotwell was a new member of SpaceX, she quickly became the head of business development and was immediately given the incredible task of selling rockets that didn't exist yet and, of course, had never flown. It sounds strange, but thanks to her talent, Shotwell achieved feats that no one else could. She began meeting with U.S. government agencies and satellite companies to persuade them to book launches on SpaceX's yet-to-fly Falcon 1 rocket. Remarkably, the young startup has secured its first contracts with agencies like the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, a Malaysian satellite startup, and most notably NASA, along with dozens of other customers, all before Falcon 1 even reached orbit. The long-term close cooperation between SpaceX and NASA was solidified with a $278 million contract in 2006, which tasked Elon Musk's company with developing the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft to transport supplies to the ISS. This partnership paved the way for even more lucrative contracts, including a significant $2.89 billion deal in 2021 under the Artemis program. This contract involved developing and producing the Starship HLS for two missions an uncrewed demonstration, and crewed moon landing. Building a strong relationship with an aerospace giant like NASA not only brought economic benefits, but also enhanced SpaceX's reputation significantly. It became one of the most effective ways for SpaceX to market its products worldwide without heavy spending on advertising. By generating substantial revenue for the company, Shotwell steadily took on more leadership roles. She's currently the president and COO of SpaceX and a close friend of Elon Musk's. Without her, it'd be hard to imagine SpaceX being where it is today. While Musk focuses on various ventures beyond rockets, he needs someone to keep things organized and ensure positive cash flow. Although Musk is a risk taker who often goes all in with little margin for error, much like when he started SpaceX, he also needs someone to maintain a healthy balance. Fortunately, Gwen Shotwell embodies all those qualities. And that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.